Reminds me of season one Nash. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is he wave dashing? Watch this. Hello, my name is Bam, and today we're going to be breaking down the Project L gameplay. I am so excited for this game. So, uh, yeah, like and subscribe because it helps me out. And already we're starting off with something to talk about. The fact that Echo just air dashed. Air dashing is always fun. That right there, that was a core part of Rising Thunder, what Jinx just did. So, let's go back. Because I think it's pretty cool. So, right here, see how she jump canceled? Jump canceling? Well, okay. It was a little bit different, Rising Thunder. So, in Rising Thunder, you could spend meter to cancel things into jumps or dashes. In this game, we have no idea if it takes meter or not. Jinx didn't glow or anything, so it might actually be meterless in Project L, which would be kind of crazy. This game looks like it can get kind of crazy, though. I mean, it is a tag game, because there's assists. Wait, that's a spoiler, I guess, if you've never seen this. But, whatever. You shouldn't be watching a breakdown if you've never seen it. You should have already seen it. <laughs> Air fireballs. I love fireballs. Another projectile. There we get to see assist for the first time. Ari assist. Combos. Okay, I don't know if this is universal or not, or if this just applies to Ari. But she did each air special move twice, which makes me assume that is the maximum that you can do it. That would be pretty cool for movement and combos. Also, you can call an assist and tag in the same combo. We just saw that. Uh, right there's the Ari assist. And then he does... Launch? Wait, what, did that even combo? Hold on, let's look. I don't even know if that combo. Maybe that didn't combo. Yeah, she was standing still there. That, that definitely didn't combo. Never mind. I take back what I said. Maybe you can't. We don't know. Because it definitely does not look like it combos. Look. Assist. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that comboed. It's kind of misleading. All of this looks so cool. Echo was getting busy with combos. Echo combo videos are going to be so cool. He could have definitely anti-aired that. Just saying. Wait, was that a parry? Or was that a block animation? Are my eyes deceiving me? Why did... Look, there's a different block animation right there. I think it's just a block animation, though. Watch. It's a different color. Look, blue, blue, blue. Boom, red. Why is this red? I don't understand. It might just be the block animation of this move. This move might be doing something. But I don't think it was a parry or anything. Ari getting busy too. Ari combos look cool. Anything that loops in a fighting game, I usually like how it looks. Into the super. This. Okay. This bummed me out a little bit right here. There is no motion inputs. I really like motion inputs because it adds a different layer to the game. I should do an entire video on this, but... I don't mean that it adds execution or whatever. I think people that think motion inputs add execution to the game are idiots. It does not add execution to the game. I mean, I guess it could, but I don't think any motion input is that hard to do. And that includes weird ones like KOF pretzel inputs. I guess there's a handful of exceptions like electrics I guess are hard, but still, whatever. Motion inputs add to the game because it completely changes how you play in neutral. Completely. It's a different game if there's motion inputs. If someone has to do, like, double quarter circle, for example, to do a super, you can see them buffering in neutral. And then you can think, oh, maybe I shouldn't throw a fireball. But then, as players get better, they learn to mask how they buffer. Like, they might neutral jump and do double quarter circle forward or double quarter circle back or whatever, and then buffer their super in the neutral jump. They might whiff a jab and buffer it 
during the jab, so you don't see their character crouching for the buffer. That's like one example of many about how motions change games and change the way people play. But I'll, I'll probably make a video on it talking in depth about that because there's a lot of other ways that motion inputs are important. But it, none of them have to do with execution. In fact, motion inputs, when I'm thinking about combos that are hard, motion inputs are usually the easiest part of the combo. You're usually just canceling an attack into the motion input. <laughs> it's never the hardest part. It's usually just timing button presses, like after a launch, that are difficult. So, yeah. But, it, it's whatever. I mean, I don't mind it too much. I'm still going to play the game, obviously. I'm still excited for the game. There's a different, like, you play differently when there's not motions, though. It's not the end of the world. That cross-up looks cheap. Wall bounce. Ooh. You guys catch that? That was a restand. They did say they want people to be able to express themselves, which makes me happy, but like, look at this. This is a restand. See? I go standing. Since that move restands, that means you can either choose to go for damage, which obviously he did in this case, he went into super, or you could go for a mix-up, which will most likely be pretty cheap because of assist. Assist, you know, they always make mix-ups cheap. <laughs> super animation is pretty cool. That backdash looks so good. Reminds me of Season 1 Nash. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is he wave dashing? Watch this. He's crouching. We see him crouching. He might be wave dashing. Watch. He messes up right there. See, crouch, 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 crouch. There might be wave dashing in this game. There might be wave dashing. That's pretty cool. Crouch, crouch. Yeah, look. I wonder. That's pretty cool. I hope there's wave dashing. I love movement. Movement is so fun in every fighting game. Movement is like the most important thing to have fun in a fighting game for me. Good movement means so much. Wow, that was f***ed up. <laughs> Let's look at this. That, that was... Rewind right here. It's this one. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> oh, that looks fun to play. Play as. Play against, probably not so much. We would need to know what the defensive options are, but this game looks fun. It looks so fun. And League of Legends characters are so cool. They picked a good character to show off with Echo. They definitely picked a good character to show off with Echo. I mean, like, all of this... Where is it? All of this rewind stuff is so cool and so fun it's so unique i'm glad they showed off echo even though i'm not like a big echo fan i think it was a good choice well that's it that pretty much breaks down just the gameplay of it you guys should leave a like on this and subscribe i'll be uploading tons more about project l and talking about some of the design decisions that i've seen and what i think about them anyway i will see you guys next time see ya